Hey, Brian. What could you possibly want from me, Levi? I want to talk to you about that uh, 686 review video you did. I thought I told you never to bring that up. I know. You, your groupings were a little off. Yeah, I shot really badly that day. But that's okay. I have brought to you a chance to redeem yourself. You want me to shoot another revolver? Yes, I do. And what revolver? It, the one sitting right in front of you. Oh! That's a, that's a Colt King Cobra. Yeah, if it was a snake, it would have bit you. You proud of yourself? Yes. Welcome back to Dark Corner Gunworks. Now what does Chevy Chase, Whoopi Goldberg, and Gilbert Godfrey have in common? Probably nothing, but we're gonna review a Colt King Cobra. Now Colt re-released their line of snake guns back in 2019, and we just so happened to get our hands on a King Cobra. I wanna, before we get started, make sure she's clear. Nothing in the cylinder, nothing in the chamber. Good to go, magazine's empty if there was a magazine on it. The King Cobra is a double action revolver, which means that if you wanted to, you could pull the hammer back to fire, or you could leave the hammer forward and fire double action. Now, a double action pull is a little stouter than a single action pull, but it is very smooth. I can't say enough good things about the trigger on this gun is a six round and it has got fixed sights obviously the the rear side is a little groove along the top and then the front sight with a little brass piece right there to pick up on while you're shooting it has got a rubber grip to soften the blow of that mean 357 round and a little two inch barrels this is a small Little, little revolver, you can carry it on your hip and a holster or something, it's not going to get in the way. I can't say no good, words no good today. Now when I say that this comes with a two inch barrel, I don't mean that the King Cobra only comes in a two inch mod. You can get a longer barrel, you can get the short barrel, there's different, different styles out there of King Cobra. This one is in stainless steel, nice pretty finish. And you know what? I don't have much else to say. I really want to go down to the range and shoot this. But we're going to let Brian do it first to redeem himself. Now, if you subscribe to our channel, you already know that the range is a mess. Because we're getting a new building put up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that now. Ring the bell notification, comment, share, like, you know, all that other fun stuff that makes YouTubers like us able to bring you beautiful content like we have. So let's go down to the mud hole of a range. Here we go to King Cobra. See how she shoots. Let's see if I can hate myself shooting 357s out of this thing. You hate yourself? A little bit. That's a whole lot to hold on to with not much to hold on to. Snake gun bit me. I'm excited about this. This rubber grip protecting my hand from all this recoil. You shoot magnets? Right, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Ouch. 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 <laughs> 
Let's do it again. With, with 38 special. Oh well, yeah. That was actually a really good shot, Greg. It's easy to do with 38 special. <laughs> I've been practicing. So we're back inside. Yeah, we are. From the range. A lot of people don't know this. This isn't this isn't green screen. This is actually a wall. That's real stuff. That's made out of real wood. Like you can't you can't find that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's not like it grows on trees. Exactly. <laughs> Where were you going with this video? Well we're off the range, back inside the studio. Yeah. So Brian. What did you think about the King Cobra? Well, I mean, it, uh, with 357s, it is very snappy. My, my wrist is actually sore from those. It's, uh, the script doesn't do much to mitigate recoil with the 357s. Now, the 38s, I could shoot it all day. It was a dream. If I had anything at all to complain about, it would be the backwards cylinder release of Colts. But, I mean, all Colts are like that. I had the same problem when I was on range. Kept wanting to slide it forward. Yeah, you have like I mean, Smith and Wesson. You push it forward with this, the the Colts. You you it, it literally is backwards. You pull it backwards to open the cylinder, which is it's it's clear. And I know with the 357, I didn't have a tight grip on it that first round, and I felt it every round after that. Went to 38, and it was a dream, like you said. Beautiful gun. I love the operation. Still smooth trigger. The longer models would probably be better with 357s. I mean, they'd, you know, having a full grip and a longer barrel would be. Well, if we get our hands on one of those, that'd be fun too. Yeah. Or if we could get our hands on a python. Let's do a python video. Oh, just, uh, ah. Or look at you, Colt. I can hear my wallet screaming in the other room. No, no, no. We'll get Colt to sponsor. You get Colt to sponsor. Yeah, Colt. Jeez. Send us a python. Send us a python. We don't even need a check. Yeah, no. Just a gun. Yeah, just a gun. We're reviewing it for you. Yeah. And our viewers. I hope it doesn't get lost in the mail on the way back. Oh, do we have to send it back? That would be terrible, wouldn't it? I don't I don't know. <laughs> send us one without a return address. At this point, at this point we're just begging for sixteen hundred dollar guns. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for watching Dark Corner Gunworks. Be sure to like, share, subscribe comment down below and remember if you subscribe click the bell notification you can watch the range grow as the building grows out of the ground and then you can grow with us as we grow with you you're saying grow an awful lot it's a lot of fun you can also find us on facebook instagram at darkcornergunworks.com and be sure to check out our podcast covering fire yeah another one down That was a fun little pistol. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Good shooter with 38 Special. I'd trust Levi's life with it. Thank you, I think. Oh, I'm itchy. I have, I have sunburn. I look like a tomato. For some reason, my hair does not prevent me from getting sunburn. Weird. I've been growing my bangs out for years. And a pretty horse. Hey, Brian. What could you possibly want from me? You remember uh, when you shot that six of man? You were so mean. <laughs> like you was mad about it. I liked it, but but it threw me off. <laughs> Do it again, out like that. But let me be ready for it. Snake guy. Easy, man. Easy. Yeah, I mean, my throat, sure, but my beard, yeah. Your ridiculous beard. It's beautiful. It's very tactical. Your absurd beard. Very tactical beard. You know, I could hide a gun in there. Look at that. You, you can't even see that. You can't see that. Still unloaded, by the way. I thought thought there was something wrong with the camera one time because you were your bit when you when you thin your beard out. I can see your collar through it. Yeah. And I was like, what is that stupid halo? Like, what is, oh, that, that's him. I stopped thinning it out now. I got, so back this weird, so back here I got this. This is growing now. And there's like two inches or an inch and a half or so from right there that I always cut out, thin my beard well, out. Well, I have all this footage of you talking about your pubic <clears throat> hair. On my face.
I guess it's better than you talking about somebody else's pubic hair on your face. Yeah. Yeah, I had a Colt 45 once. It tastes terrible. Yeah? I drank a King Cobra that way one time. Nice. I didn't. I've never drank a King Cobra yeah, in my I life. I've never had Colt 45. <laughs> <laughs> Malt liquor! <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> I only buy my food and alcohol from the gas station. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that hurt my palate. <laughs> did it? Yeah, is, is, it really did. Is like, your I could, palate scarred? I could feel the sickness. Welcome back to Dark Corner Gun Works. I never left. No, you didn't. You probably should now, then. Thank God. <laughs> well, we're back inside. Oh, man. Let's try again. That's that is, not from this video yet. No, no, it's not. That's from the other video that you guys haven't seen yet because, well, we shot it in day two. <laughs> That's right. Doubling up the content just for you folks. Because we love you. Especially you. Yeah, and you. Definitely. Yeah. You. Oh, that guy standing behind you? Oh, you didn't know he was there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How many people do you let in your mom's basement? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Here come the comments. <laughs> Only if they stayed long enough for the outtakes. And by then, we've already won. That's true. 